Hi there, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my forecast for you, Cancer, for the week of July the 18th. So we have the sun in your sign and the moon opposite. So that's a full moon that's early in the week on the 19th. Great time for you to just sort out what you want to do for your relationships. Is it working for you? Is it not working for you? Are you looking for love? Are you looking to get out of love? You know, great time to really have have a, a, a deep and meaningful uh, discussion with someone or just a deep and meaningful thought you know with your uh, self um, about you know where you're heading what do you want for you for the future and this is a great time to do that also because in your solar second house which is traditionally about money and possessions but it's also the area of self-worth and um, you know how you feel about attracting or how worthy you feel about attracting what you want in your life okay so firstly it's to get in touch with what you actually want to attract secondly it's like what's your self talk okay you know the saying you can't afford a negative thought well really you can't you know and the sun at the end of this coming week it's going to move into this area as well. Now, with Venus and Mercury there, so you're going to have the Sun, Venus, and Mercury all in this area. But um, during this week, early in the week, so Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, we're going to have two aspects coming off Venus and Mercury with Saturn. Okay, now Saturn is in your area of productivity. Okay, so yes, Saturn can be hard work. Um, limitations and cautiousness all of that but it does say to me it's coming out of coming off influencing your monetary uh, position in life and your productivity so it does say to me that the uh, work or the focus or attention or extra effort that you put in to your every day work situation um, can be well rewarded okay now the and now we get back to the area of self-worth you want to make sure that in the whole scheme of what's going on um, that you're not the one that misses out okay don't try to make sure everybody else is looked after and not you cancer okay because that's not the way that it works out particularly as there's we're still under the influence of a square between uranus and the sun uranus sits in your career zone slow moving planet been there for a while gonna be there for a while but you know it's it's uh, the interactions that um, Uranus has with the other planets during the time that it's there. So a square is traditionally challenging. Uranus can like come out of the blue, something like can really just blind side you. So uh, you know, don't let somebody put you under pressure to fit in with their. Um, calendar if you don't need to okay I mean sometimes we do have to tie the line you know so um, there's all sorts of different situations but if you can build in some time for yourself to think things through do it okay um, don't allow yourself to be bullied in other, in other words now Mars sits in your uh, area of fifth house this is a very passionate area of your chart it's very creative uh, networking, uh, get out and socialize. Even if you are looking for love, then you can meet someone that you have like a real chemistry with during this time. If you're in a relationship, then inject a little bit of passion into it, okay? All right, so I hope you have a great week and uh, I hope that new um, that full moon doesn't rock you around too much and you manage to get some clarity from that energy of your next steps, okay? And we'll see you next week. Bye for now.